this and I go, stuff, I, and I, go, know I know what, what to, do. to do. Stocks. Stocks. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> uh, uh, so don't, so ever, don't ever expect, expect meet, meet Kevin, Kevin to sell, to you, sell a you a stock, stock investment. investment. I am short, I am short NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Do not short do not NVIDIA along with, me. Along with me. It is very, it is risky. very risky. I am down a lot of money. I'm okay with it. I am down a lot of money. I'm okay with it. I am down a lot of money. I'm okay with it. I'm going to tell you I'm something. Tell you something. I've started I've a position, started position in 3M, stock. 3M stock. All right. Let's see. I don't know who's going to join. I'm sure you all have jobs. I am, uh, I am off today. So I figure I was... Uh, I was working on my Robert Kiyosaki uh, video PowerPoints and then somebody sent me this. So I figure I'd make a quick video before he deletes his old, before he deletes his proof of his underperformance of the past. So we will put it in video format because these guys, you never know what they're going to be up to. Let's see. Dex, I tweaked my back. So I'm off too. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That sucks. Um, yeah, I called out today. I didn't feel like working. So I got, I freaking, I'm so busy this week. So future investing, which I, I'm aware of this guy. Um, he's been around a while. So oh, hold on a second. I guess somebody messaged me. Oh, thank God that messaged me. This is damn. What? <laughs> So future investing, which I, I've, I've not been apt to make fun of him or mock him because he doesn't sell a course. Okay. So his opinions are his opinions. I've, I've attacked Paul. I've attacked Kevin because they sell courses, which implies that they're telling you they can, they can give you knowledge to help you outperform the market and stuff like that. They're, they're putting themselves forward as some sort of financial gurus. All right. I've left Tanner alone for the most part because and maybe I've mentioned him once or twice, but you know, he was, was just a guy. You can have an opinion about SoFi being a good company when I think it's shit. Um, more power to you. So, but now he has crossed into the course, you know, the course sphere, whatever you want to call it. So he just he just announced this. So Tanner now is running a fintech growth investing course that he's going to make people sign up for. Okay, three hundred and forty dollars. So he's doing the meet Kevin thing where you get lifetime access instead of monthly uh, cost because they're just hoping they can get a ton of people to come in and just pay, and then just they bounce, but they've already paid their three forty, so you can't get a refund. Um, so that's what he's done. Um, so Tanner is a he's basically like a, I think he's a financial advisor in Canada. Okay, so at least he's in this the this, this space of finance, like. Unlike some of these other people we've talked about that like these yield max people were just like, they had no business being in finance and they just all of a sudden, boom, they want to be dividend channels. A lot of them. So we're going to look at some of his old before I'm doing this right now, because honestly, these guys delete shit. And if he's putting a course forward, I bet he's going to go in his past and he's going to delete all his examples of his clownish stock picks like meet Kevin did. I guarantee you he's going to delete these videos. So I'm going to make this. So now we have record of this because I, I I, should have made an affirm video on Meet Kevin before he deleted that terrible video. Um, so we went back. So we're going to go to the oldest. Okay. So for anybody that wants to buy Mr. Tanner's course, let's look at some of his stock videos. Okay. I'm not, I'm going to try and be as impartial. I'm just going to show you what's there. So if we, we scroll down, I went oldest. Okay. Some of these are just his opinion. So we get to mega stock. So he says why mega is the best EV stock to watch for all investors. Okay. So he's telling you that this is a fast growing, great investment in the EV space. February 2nd, 2021. I don't have any really thoughts on Magna myself. All I can show you. So the date, I might have to zoom in. So he's putting forward a video because now that he's selling courses about growth investing. Okay. Let's analyze what he's done in the past. Magna. Uh, is this the best stock to watch for investors? Okay, February 2nd, 2021. How's it done since his video? February 2nd, 2021. Uh, it's down 20%. Okay, the market's up. 
So that's a failure of a growth investment. So we get nothing on that one. Let's go. What else we got? Let's see if he's got any more. Some of these he just is giving his thoughts. I'm not going to snipe him on those because that's fine. You can have your thoughts. So, okay, now here we go. Shopify. What are we doing? Future investing. And today I want to talk to you guys about a stock that I promised I would make a video on. Shopify stock. Now, I had featured this stock in one of my top three growth stocks of 2021, but going Anybody? forward, I'm going to make a full breakdown of this stock to see whether you should buy in at this current time or wait for better times to jump in. So in this video, I want to talk about three specific things. I want to talk about their finances, okay, you know, where they are yeah. specifically, whether they're overvalued or undervalued. It's their countries. For example, India is one that Shopify is not in very, very recently. But, you know, my problem is still that I think there is a little bit of a more and more money into it at, at higher rates, you know, the better price that I can get. But tell me what you guys are doing. Is this a so all, he, he has other Shopify videos. He, he likes Shopify because he's Canadian. It's the only good company that came out of Canada. So he's saying 7.5x return since by 2025. So, all right, April 13th, 2021. So let's see what Shopify has done since he did this. Shopify, April 13, 2021. Okay. Ooh. Damn, what the hell? All right, I got to do it different. Okay, we'll do it from here. April 13th, so that's right there. All right, we're down 35%. He said it was a 7.5X from the date of that video. We're one year away from 2025. I don't see us getting a 7.5X by then. So he bought it, if he, he was buying Shopify when it was before it, the heavy drop that it went through, he was buying it in this range. So another fail, so we're over two for now. All right. Now, look, he might be a perfectly nice guy, okay? I, like I said, I've never, I've not specifically bashed Tanner in the past. You know, you can have your opinions on SoFi. I have my opinions on SoFi. Now we're in the course. Now he's selling courses. So now he's teaching people how to invest. So we've crossed that, that line. So now we can look at what he's done because he should have to show you, if you're going to buy a course from him, he should have to show you why you should pay him $340 for his investment knowledge on growth investing. He must have some growth investments that have really performed for him for for you to pay him, right? Otherwise, why are you doing it? If if he can't perform, why don't you just go buy SCHG if you want to be a growth investor like I do. So, I don't I put no effort into it. It's a low fee growth fund. It, it, it I am a growth investor through that. I pay 0.04% fee. So, he's telling you he can do better than that. Um so we'll go there's going to get some more ones. Oh, this is the one. Here we go. Oh, will it run? Come on. That's going into their organizations for, to allow players to play. Wait, he had other skills videos where they did he delete them? Oh, no. Did he? Oh, well, maybe. Okay. So he bought, he loved skills. This is the one I want to tell you about. He had tons of videos and I don't know if I see them all. Um, so yeah, skills, we've got skills. He loved this skill stock. Okay. Skills sell or double down. So we'll go to the first video where he talks about skills. Okay. May 25th, 2021. Let's check, let's check out skills. It's like an e-gaming company, okay? So what did we say? May 25th, 2021, that was one of the videos. May 25th. Okay, we're here. People, he talked about a company that's lost 98% of its value since he started covering it. 98%. This is literally one of the most clown. I've looked, I looked at this company briefly. It's one of the most clownish investment theses I've ever seen for a growth investor. This is when I make, when dividend investors get made fun of, 
I, I laugh because then I look at growth investors and I'm like, you guys buy trash like this. Okay. You could make fun of dividend investors for buying like Verizon or Exxon Mobil. Fair enough. But you know what? We're not losing 98% of our freaking investment on a, on whatever the hell this in you know, online mobile platform e-gaming community. It's 97, almost 98% down from when he first started making videos on it. He's going to teach you how to be a growth investor. Okay. That's growth investing, but it's not what you want. That's not the type of growth investing that you want, people. So we are now 0 for 3 on growth investments, even making money, let alone that they're beating the market. So we can't even beat, we can't even get a positive return on the ones he's talked about we've covered so far. We're 0 for 3, let alone even close to beating the market. Um, and I'm doing this because he's going to delete these. I'm telling you, he's going to delete these now that he's selling a course. As soon as he realizes he's ha he has these embarrassing videos, We've got them recorded now. All right, we're going to keep going. So skills was one he like, oh, oh, Corsair. I love it. 520. He, he loved Corsair. He was just like Jeremy Liff. I wonder where he got the idea for Corsair. Where did he get it? My biggest new stock position, Corsair. Oh, yeah, Corsair. Because gaming, everyone's at home. So surely everyone's going to have to buy computer parts. And that's just going to last forever, right? So they had a, a brief period. I remember this company. They had a brief period where their financials looked good because people were buying. They had stimmy checks. People were bored. They were buying computers either to work or because they were at home and they had nothing else to do. So it was a perfect time for Corsair. And he just bought it to, you know, hook, hook nail or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so he, he was all about it. And they had a brief. Now, this is another. This is a growth trap, just like Peloton. I hate to tell you, but Corsair was a growth trap at that time. So let's see if he has a price target. Uh, I don't think he has a price target. It's undervalued and people get, you know, immensely scared because there's some short position on this stock. I don't think it means any. All right, well, let's go to the day. I don't want to take too much time. All right, July 2nd, 2021. Okay. Cor Corsair, July, 2021. July 2nd, I think. Okay, July 2nd. Let me zoom in. July 2nd, 2021. Here we go. We are down 58% people. 58%. We are now 0 for 4 on being green. Let alone, we're not even, we can't even get into the debate if he's found anything that's beat the S&P 500 yet. Because let, let's even, I'm waiting for one to be green. We can at least see if he's even outperforming the market. Or, or, or SCHG, a real growth index. Um, so again, we're down 30% in one, we're down 98% in one, we're now down like 58% in another growth investment he talked about. You're going to pay him $340 to teach you how to do this. Okay. He fell into a trap with Corsair because it looked great in 2021 because of the clown market and people having stimmy checks and buying computers. But I don't know if he even realized Corsair doesn't even build its own product like Logitech does. They don't have their own. They have they have third party people that manufacture their products. And I'm a gamer. I build computers. There's nothing special about Corsair. It's just one of many computer manufacturers. I have like my memories from Corsair, but I you know, of all the parts in my computer, one part is from Corsair. There's nothing special about them. So I don't I don't particularly know what would have been an appealing investment. Other he fell into a growth trap with. Corsair in 2021. I'm telling you, that's a growth trap. So let's keep going. Um, we'll find more. I'm sure there, there might be one more, but we'll get to the, the the main course is, of course, the the one you're all thinking of, SoFi. All right. So he had some more skills because he started realizing that it was doing terrible. Skills, sell or double down because he knew that it was getting crushed. So he made another video for Copium. Um, and then here, oh, he even made a video after he bought Corsair. Insane buying the dip. So, so now he's bought two companies and then he has to do buying the dip videos after because they perform terribly. All right. Go easy. What, what is go easy? I literally, I don't even know what this hey is. Hey guys, it's Tanner Manson from Future Investing. And today I want to talk to you guys about go easy second quarter financial results. Okay. So I'm not going to watch what his thoughts were because he says in the thumbnail, crazy 5X stock prediction. So he's selling you as a growth investor, 10X stock investment opportunities and growth investing. So here, this is half of what he's promising in his course. So I, I don't even know. Well, let's go look. Okay. August 11th, 2021. Go easy. I, I don't even know if I can find this. G-S-Y-T-O. Okay.
Okay, let's see if we can find it. The Canadian stock, obviously. Okay, cool, we found it. Okay, let me get the date. All right, August 11th, 2021. Okay, let's see how he did. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, it's not looking good. All right, all right we're about there. All right, it, it's not... <laughs> It could have been worse. <laughs> so again, he pretty much bought it right at like about its COVID peak. So this was like its COVID run, whatever this company does. Uh, was it alternative financial services? So it's it's like a fintech. Okay, some sort of fintech loan provider. He bought it right at this peak. It has survived only down 8%. So now we're like 0 for 5. We're 0 for 5 on making money, not even outperforming the market. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to keep. <laughs> this is so bad and you're gonna pay this guy 340 i can't even take it <laughs> skills on the 10x if you short it with puts <laughs> if you opposite and tan okay if you if you reverse tanner you might have 10x actually i'm not sure but maybe on the skills one. <laughs> how much it says 340 so this is what he has for lifetime access. So 340 US. Okay. So this just popped up. Someone sent it to me. All right. So whatever. I will take two. <laughs> Bro, already halfway through the video. Oh my God. Oh God. Yeah. Okay. We're going to keep going. I want to get back to doing my Robert Kiyosaki, which I, I, I don't. Okay. I don't hate. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Actually, the more I read it, um, I don't totally hate it. So I'll try and it's actually kind of interesting topic because I'm reading it for, like as a new you know to the idea of it. I'm trying to get it out soon. I couldn't wait though. This was too much. All right. So Palantir. He didn't buy Palantir. I'll cut him a break. He didn't buy Palantir. So good for him on that. Um, okay. Salesforce. We're not. That might have actually ready to skyrocket. Hey guys, it's Tanner Man. What is with that intro? Hey guys. Fucking weirdo. Ready to skyrocket. Okay. Did you give price targets? Let me look. I'm not listening to him talk. I can't. No. All right. So he says it's ready to skyrocket. All right. Let's see. September 1. He might be green on this one, actually. Let's give him some credit if he is. So is he green? skyrocket though okay what do you consider skyrocket okay like so the date of this september 1 2021 september 21 so right here september 24th 2021 i mean okay so this is i i would honestly say this is uh wrong he said it was ready to skyrocket okay so he actually did the video right before the stock got clobbered I mean, it's right here. September 1st, 2021. Salesforce ready to skyrocket. I can go here. Okay, here's September 2021. Almost at the peak of, of Salesforce during COVID, which was in November. And then it fell off a cliff. So we can say he's wrong. Okay. I mean, he's not terribly wrong if you bought the stock. You're, you're doing okay. He is wrong though. So again, we, we haven't had one thesis that he's correct on yet. I'm waiting for it. Okay. I'm being fair here. This is his own videos. Um, Clover, he did say not to buy Clover. We will give him that. He did say in this video, you know, I don't, I think I'm, I, I see problems. He was right because that thing got cr crushed. Ooh, skills, massive news. Let's see what he says. Hey guys, it's Tanner Manson from Future Investing. And oh my God, we got some crazy news come out from Skills Incorporated, ticker symbol SKLZ. And on face value, it seems like this is just some new like stock option compensation for Andrew Paradise, the CEO. But it's actually so much more than that. And I really want to jump into it today. But before we go any further, although I am actually a licensed financial security advisor as my full-time job, none of these stocks are topics that we talked about today like this and had a similar reward to what Andrew Paradise is about to achieve. So what exactly does this mean? So as you can see from this little chart right here, that 
as the market cap of this company starts to multiply, he's going to get paid out huge from, you know, his actual contributions to the company. So whenever it hits 2x, <laughs> he's going to get paid out 4 million shares of stock to the company. And then additionally, whenever it hits 3x, it's going to, you know, double again. That's actually cumulative, though. He's only going to get 4 million shares every time. 4x, 12, 5x, 16 million shares. Now on face value, you could look at this like it's some sort of share dilution and then Okay, this is just my opinion now. I'm not saying good or bad. That whole take of th this is positive because there's a new compensation package that incentivizes the CEO to perform. I mean, that's a lot of companies in the market. And honestly, I could say this is to a detriment sometimes to companies because you're incentivizing them through good, bad, or other means to inflate the price of the stock. And we know what shenanigans companies can do to inflate their share prices. So... The, it's a weird take, honestly. It's just, I, I don't think it's clownery, but it's just odd. Like, weird take. It's not good for the company, but it absolutely is. Okay. This is the captain of the ship, and he needs to be rewarded, you know, very, very generously for if he's multiplying the size of the company. And this isn't like revenue or, you know, profit related. This is purely stock price related. So as he starts to hit these milestones, if, if you're in the company now, you this is another thing. I mentioned this when I talked about, uh, agency cost i think it was where sometimes ceos are incentivized just to make the companies bigger they're not incentivized to make the company better like leaner meaner more profitable sometimes ceos just are incentivized to make companies bigger because we can ask well, why do why do ceos just go on these merger acquisition sprees or con get, become conglomerates it's like it makes no sense when you realize how stupid it was like after they do it but during the time that the ceos maybe do this stuff Maybe they had an incentive package where they just had to make the company bigger. And that's all they needed to do to make the company, uh, to get their incentives and their stock options. And this, this could be an example of that. And this is not good, like normally. I would not say this is a good thing. Could It could be. You will also seem to work very hard for right. we're, people we're, can This is all we're going to talk about? has been in place much 12-fold to 600. And okay, what does that have to do with skills? Te skills doesn't make electric vehicles what, what does that have to do this comparison and 47 billion said nothing about it but you know what we're very excited about the company I, I don't know what what massive news this is this is not massive news at all and we cover the the stock still got that was the stock was 11 dollars when he did that video it's now been cut in half so his massive news the company it's gotten 50 50 60 percent cut since that video so another another big uh, goose egg so <laughs> we, we haven't had one thought process or, or investment idea from him yet that made money. I want to make that clear. Nothing is in the green from when he proposed it in a video to today. None of these are green. Okay. So I mean, if you want to say, oh, he timed it perfectly, sold it low, bought, okay, whatever. Um, so, okay. Now we're going, I, I still, this was the one that was hilarious. So. Of the so. year and it just ended q3 and they're at 2.9 million yeah they haven't hit the target yet but i mean they have three months to hit the target Wait. going shopping with sofi credit card you can purchase a home with sofi mortgages or they even have i'll tell you people if sofi gets train wrecked freaking in the next quarter because everyone's expecting them to be profitable and if it if they come out unprofitable in this next quarter that stock's getting cut in half i think um you can believe I am freaking going nuclear on SoFi shills. <clears throat> Fab, I think Fabio and me are going to, if, if next quarter, I think it's at the end of the month. If SoFi is still unprofitable, which mm, mm -hmm, you better be ready for that. We're going after, we're taking names at that point. Student loans, home loans, personal loans, even insurance. They have every product that you could ever want all on your mobile device. And I got to tell you, although they are. And at that point, when it's when it gets cut in half and they're unprofitable, I'm going to just flat out tell them why, how you made such a huge mistake. I mean, but we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Are, so you far, know, like wrong. a bank, a, a very, you know, specific fintech type of company, they are growing like a true tech company. So let's go over some of these numbers. So Not SoFi's members company. grew to they just impaired their technology million set. users in this quarter, which is a 96% year over year, or even 35% quarter over quarter. Total products actually grew to 4.3 million, up 108% year over year. And whenever you see these... And the expectations of Wall Street is they're going to keep that huge 
customer inflows going in the future. So if that fails or they don't get to profitability, they have to hit very specific marks. Um, it's a very go big, go home stock at this point. These sorts of product growths grow faster than the amount of members. That means that there's a whole lot of cross buying going on, which means that although people might have only come for one product, maybe they, you know, they saw that they did free commission buying no and price, selling for no stock. So then they go and they, they join for that reason. But then they realize people that apply for personal loans every most expensive way so i mean okay, it's whatever. just crazy let's At go the the day okay let's do the next sofi video let's see so now he's getting into it 32 reasons to buy sofi so oh look he finally did a video to sell skills after it already got obliterated like 80 90 percent he then has to put a video out to sell it so and now we get to i think we're getting to sofi where's the retirement videos for sofi Oh, here it is. I think it's this one. Around 7,820 possibilities. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> let's go to his mid. Okay, let's go to his mid price targets. Okay. We're going to go to his mid. So this was his retire on SoFi. I think this is when he got big into SoFi because this video was actually a hit for him. He got 36,000 views, which was crazy for him. So like most of his videos were a few thousand here and there. And all of a sudden, so no, he wasn't really all SoFi, okay? So before this video, he was some SoFi, some other growth investing, Neo, fine. He, you know, does all that. Um. Oh yeah, let's, <laughs> okay, we should do this. 34 reasons to buy Neo now, full stock analysis. In this video. Oh we forgot about this one. So. So he's 34 reasons to buy Neo. Okay, let's see. February 10th, 2022. Let's do it. February 10th, 2022. February 11th, 2022. The stock is 75% down from when he did that video. 75% down. So what do we owe for seven? I've lost track of how many. Everything has been read that he's he's proposed. Okay. The problem with Neo, the biggest thing I saw when I looked at it, was beyond the Chinese company angle, the whole battery swap idea was a failure. Like th their whole their commitment to battery swap technology was such a shitty idea. I don't know why and they would always gloss over that and say, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine, whatever. It's all about the car." I'm like, "No, no." If you're buying Neo, you have to understand this battery swap idea that they're developing and they're spending CapEx on. And then you look at it and you're like, it makes no sense for a company to do a subscription model and then have all the maintenance and upkeep on batteries, which are the most expensive part of a car. This, this company made no sense. Their whole business model was a complete like you know abomination. So I, I don't particularly know what you would have looked at this company and liked other than you got deceived by the clown market. Again, a growth trap, I would have called this. So, great. We got another one. So, um, okay, back to SoFi. So, here we go. His mid, so this was February 22nd, 2022. This was his mid price targets for SoFi. So, let's go to 2024. Okay, he 2023, he said SoFi was going to end at $17.28. $17.28. How did, what, what did SoFi end? 2023 at i'm gonna try and get through this quick i don't want to go much past 30 minutes okay so end of end of the year we were at nine ten dollars let's just say okay we, we ended 2023 at ten dollars for sofi his 2023 target was 17 he was almost so he was what 80 percent off of his price target for SoFi for the end of the year. So, okay. I mean, there we go. Missed again. Every, every time he's missed every projection he's read on every investment he's proposed. And he's wants you to chart. He wants you to pay him $340. Okay. Other than that, more SoFi. We're just, we, we went balls of the wall on SoFi. I mean, look, it's just all SoFi now. It's all SoFi, all FinTech. And we know what's happened to SoFi. SoFi is unprofitable. SoFi has a 
loan book of an absurd amount of personal loans that no other bank has ever had. It was, it's absurd. It's like 70, 80% of their loan book is personal loans. No other banks even close to that. Their allowance for credit losses just kept growing and growing when I was following it. Um, their only, their only appealing thing is the growing customer service number, the growing customer numbers. They did a, a huge impairment of their technology business. I already talked about because of under, you know, slower than expected growth caused them to impair the goodwill on the Galileo purchase. Okay. It's a fact. So the technology story is not working with this company. And they'll say that it doesn't matter. I've, I've talked to a few of these shills online. They say the technology part is irrelevant. It's about the customer numbers. Okay. Whatever. That's, that's not how this stuff works. But um, so here we go. So all and then from this point forward, it's all SoFi. So he won't delete these videos because I don't know. He believes in SoFi to his heart. He thinks it's going to be this like JP Morgan replacement. We will see. So I wanted to cover the stuff before SoFi because I think he's going to delete some of the stuff. So now I have it in my video and we'll see if he deletes any of it. Um, and at the end of this month, we will see what happens to SoFi, my, uh, my OFI, I guess. I don't know. Holy smokers. And Tanner, here's what I'll tell you. you. You had, I wouldn't have done this if you didn't put a course out there, charge people. I was never going to do this video. I, I maybe would mention you or laugh at something. I wasn't going to do a full blown video on this. I'm sure Strongman's going to get you now too. So anybody that wants to buy, a vi uh, buy Tanner's course, you now know the background. I'm not going to say, I'm just showing you what happened in the past. You can now decide if you want to pay him $340. I would tell you that he should show you proof. Should he show you proof that he's done anything in growth investing, making money at this point? Forget the 10X. Can he show you a growth investment that's made money? Because I couldn't find one. I, 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 I can't find one investment. He was buying SoFi. There's a video here. I, I don't know which one because he's so many SoFi videos. He had a video where he said it was a blessing that he could buy SoFi in the $12 to $15 range. He said it was a blessing. So he was buying SoFi, we know, in the $12 to $15 range. We know for a fact he was buying SoFi with margin or debt. I forgot which one. It was either he took a personal loan or he used margin to buy SoFi shares, okay, at like $12, $15 range. So he's carrying very heavy SoFi bags. Um, and he's going to teach you how to analyze I guess SoFi investments, like what's his course going to be? SoFi breakdown, SoFi business, technology. Okay, again, they impaired the technology investment portion of SoFi because it's slower growth than expected. It's literally, it's literally a shit sandwich. <laughs> He's going to teach you how to analyze it. Jamie Dimon is not, doesn't care about this company. They're like, oh, the big banks aren't doing an app like SoFi. It's because they don't care. It's, it's, it's irrelevant to their business. They're not afraid of this at all. Like fintechs don't even need to exist is what I would almost tell people. Like if you really think about it, do fintechs really need to even exist? Do they really serve a purpose that's separate enough and differentiated enough from a bank to matter? Which at this point, we haven't seen it. Um, so I don't know. Now you know everything you need to know about this guy, I guess. Um, now he's just going to do, he does all his SoFi. I guess he's going to teach you how to buy growth investments. Um, or you want to be a growth investor, you could buy. You don't have to pay $340 for this. In fact, all you have to do is pay a very low fee every year. You could buy Schwab's US Large Cap Growth ETF, SCHG. This is what I buy. Five-year performance exceptional 131 percent. so you could be a growth investor you don't have to do nothing just buy this if you want another one bug so this is vanguard's version of a growth index it's not large cap specific okay five-year performance almost the same 120 percent. the fee is like i think their fee is almost the same as a chg um uh, fee yeah same same 0 0.04 so like nothing no barely a fee and then here's a third one for you um, no, that's not the right one. Give me a second. Uh, I'll show you it. So I'll give you three and you, the, if you want to be a growth investor, okay. 
SPYG. There it is. This is the other one. This takes this is different because uh, SCHG takes like a 750 funds. I don't remember what VUG, uh, VUG takes their growth from. This one takes um, SPYG. It takes the growth, what it considers growth stocks out of the SP 500. They're all kind of different. But again, all of them, very low expense ratio. You are a growth investor and you don't have to do anything. Um, and you don't have to worry about picking stocks that can lose 98% of their value like skills. Okay, that's not going to happen. But there you go. So there's Tanner. Hey, Tanner, if you want to debate one of us, because go ahead. I, I welcome you on my channel to show proof. If you can show any sort of proof of actual competent growth investing, I'll remove this video. If you can show me proof of any, it doesn't even have to be a 10X, which I know that's what you're telling people. You're going to 10X the stock. Show me an outperformance of growth investing beyond beyond like the S&P 500. Um, any of these, I challenge that. I will apologize and remove this. And don't, I'm not, I don't want to see like 2% out from you. You're, you're selling 10X. So it needs to be pretty good. Um, so here's where you're getting your advice from people. Um, it's just sad. Um, but he's open season now. I mean, you better get ready. I guarantee you, Strongman's going to come for this now. So, and just a few other people I know. This won't be the last of it. We, we will see what SoFi does at the end of the month. So, all right. I probably talked too much about this. So thanks for joining. And um, I'm going to go back to working on my other video. All right. Bye.